I've got $200 in cash and it's my anticipation that I'm gonna spend every single one of these dollars in the thrift today to hopefully buy some really great items to sell on my eBay store. The Copper Drop segment, it is back for yet another week. I'm putting it out to my Instagram followers today on items that I'm a little bit on the fence about. I'm gonna need their help and they're gonna let me know on what they think I should do. We're gonna dive into it guys, $200 cash. Let's go spend it, we'll see what we can find. One of the great days ahead, guys. I can just feel like the first item to kick things off. We've got the North Face. These are the mountain sneakers. They're a women's pair of shoes. We've got a $10 price tag on there. No comps on eBay, but you can't be passing up the North Face for 10 bucks. I've gone ahead and I've picked that one up. Now, some DVDs, guys. Have a look at this. We've got the Lano and Woodley. A real bolo DVD for you guys to be looking out for. Have a look at that. Anywhere between $50 to $70 for this thing. If I check the disc, which I have, and it's in good condition, that should go for the full top dollar of about $70, and I'm paying $2 for it here in the thrift. Sabrina the Teenage Witch, this is also another really good one to find if you can. Now, I always have a bit of a look around the DVDs, and uh, you know, I should be able to find, yep, there it is right there, Sabrina Season 3 as well. So two seasonal DVDs, they should go on to sell for about 20 bucks. Uh, Instagram viewer poll question here as well, Inspector Rex, we've got a couple of different seasons. There's not a full sort of range of one, two, three, four here. It's actually one, three, four, and then the request or buy request uh, DVD. So uh, a deliberation for you guys because it is for $20 and that is quite an expensive price for DVDs in the thrift. I've jumped into the clothing section now and uh, I've had a look at these. I've only just hit the shelf actually. The ladies have just put these on the shelf and uh, they're a pair of RM Williams moleskin pants. Now I'm only paying the $5 for these. They're a very, very nice pair of pants. As you'll see there, there's some serious comps going for about the $50 price point. So absolutely ecstatic to find those for $5 in the thrift. The other one as well, is uh, this pair of jeans. I've been able to find the Diesel brand yet again. I absolutely love finding the Diesel jeans. Uh, these were the Aki, or Aki, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, but it was a $6 price tag for a pair of Diesels. Thanks very much, I'll take those home with me as well. So two really good pairs of pants there. I've also found a couple of pairs of shorts as well. We've got the Puma Golf shorts now. I do buy Puma quite a bit, I don't mind the brand, but I love buying golf uh, apparel. This one's only four bucks, so I should be able to turn this one into about $30. Not too bad there, and it was in obviously excellent condition, as is all the garments that I purchase when I'm in the thrift. The other one as well is a really good brand that I don't find a whole lot of. It's only a $4 price tag yet again, hence the reason why I'm purchasing it. But we've got the Mad Hueys. There it is there, the Mad Hueys. If I can just get my finger out of the way, you'll be able to see it. There it is there. Size 36 waist, not too bad. These are a very, very nice pair of shorts, and um, I reckon I'll be able to push about 30 bucks for that as well. So what a first round to kick off the day. This is gonna be a big, big day. So 20 bucks, it's a lot of money to be spending on some DVDs, right? The Instagram viewer poll question was the Inspector Rex DVDs. And in the end, I got a 55% saying, yes, go ahead. And I actually did. I've gone ahead and I've picked these guys up. My anticipation is, I think I can turn them into about 20 bucks each. And that could be 80 bucks. And if it is, buying it for 20 is not too bad. This Inspector Rex DVD is one to add to your bolo list of DVDs, guys. If you're doing DVDs, definitely look out for this one when you're in the thrift. The sell-through rate is pretty much the main reason I bought it. It goes for some good money and it sells really fast as well. So I anticipate they'll move in a couple of weeks and at 20 bucks, I think that's definitely worth the investment. So really, really good start today. How good was that? We've got eight listings already for eBay. I've spent 55 bucks out of that 200 total. So 145 bucks left to spend. There's plenty more to come. Let's get back into the second one. Instagram viewer poll question to kick things off. We've got the Echo Casual Shoes. Now these are actually Gore-Tex as well, which tells me they are more higher end. They would be a high retail price point. At 20 bucks, they're pretty much in light new condition. Have you sold Echo much before yourself? Let me know in the comments below if you'd pick that one up. Now have a look at this. There was a big rack of clothing covering up all of these shoes. I don't know what the ladies in the op shop were doing because they had some very, very good items hiding in this shoe rack. As you'll see here, we've got a brand new pair of Nike SB skateboarding shoes, a $20 price tag, but remember guys, they are brand new, so I'm happy to go ahead with the purchase on those. They're a US size 14 as well, which only helps my cause. I should be able to sell them pretty quick. But this is arguably the find of the day. We've got the Doc Martens, guys. I have been searching thrift stores for a year to try and find these shoes, and finally, Finally, I found a pair and they're in excellent condition. Have a look at the comps. This is what we're talking, guys. These are almost in light new condition. If you look at the soles, they've literally not been worn. So I'm gonna push upwards of about $200. And look at that, I've only paid the eight bucks. So a ripping fine there as well. There were these Pumas uh, as well, hiding in the uh, in this shoe rack. Unbelievable little run here. I didn't end up picking these ones up though, to be honest, 20 bucks. There was no real comps on eBay telling me they were worth my while. But to be able to find the Nike SBs and, and a pair of 
Doc Martens, hiding behind this rack of clothing, was an unbelievable find. So, so far so good for Opshot run number two. We've dove into the clothing section as well, and I've actually left these behind. I don't know why, because I actually like them. They're a size medium, they're a pair of Vans, uh, just casual pants, really. A $10 price point, though, that was my concern with that one there. So, I ended up leaving it behind. I think I could probably only sold them for about $30, and in that case, there's really just no profit in them. I did buy these though. Look, it's a $4 price point. There's some cycling shorts, and I'm always picking up the cycling shorts. But the Doc Martens, guys. Wowee, guys. That second run was short, sharp, and very, very sweet. To get those Doc Martens for 8 bucks, unbelievable. We've got some brand new SBs as well, size 14. They're going to go in a heartbeat on eBay. Can't wait to get rid of those. And then those cycling shorts, something for you guys to be looking out for when you're in the thrift. But we did have the Instagram viewer poll question, and that was around the Echo Gore-Texes. And uh, the Instagram guys, they, they said 66% drop. So that's what I did. I was basically deliberating between these and the uh, the Echoes. And I've never really sold Echoes too much before. As much as they were a great shoe, I just haven't had much past experience in selling that brand. So if I was going to put my 20 bucks anywhere today, it would have been the stock standard SBs at 20 bucks, given the condition of those ones. So um, look, we've spent $32 in there. Add that to the 55 with total spend of 87 today. Got 113 bucks still to go with two op shot runs left so there's gonna be plenty more buying so stick around let's get into the third oh no guys have a look at the allocation of plush toys in this uh, op shop we've got a chicago bulls one here that's really caught my eye there's no way i'm going to beat the problem with the plush when i've got a selection like this six dollars on this one here, zero on the back. I'm not sure who it's meant to be, but um, kind of a cool plush nonetheless. Um, thank God I was able to get out of there as quickly as I could. I've got some video games here, and we've got Grand Theft Auto number four, the uh, episodes from Liberty City. That one goes for quite a few dollars. I believe the op shop owner actually brought in a few of his old uh, collectibles. And as you'll see here, given the uh, Halloween period that we've got coming up, there were quite a few horror-related uh, action figures in this mix. But um, look, all very highly priced, as you'll see there, $150 for that big guy there. So I did have to leave them all behind, but there was some money to be made, I'm sure, if I knew my stuff. Um, also found this one as well. We've got the Corduroy Quicksilver Vintage Jacket, and um, I actually think this one might be for myself. It's just the $15. It is an Instagram viewer poll question, but uh, to be honest, it doesn't need to be because I'm going to put the comps up here for you. This thing is a relic. It's $150 worth of resale value if I'm lucky on eBay. I'm absolutely blown away with that one. Also too, one way to ruin a North Face jacket, put some embroidery on it that has nothing to do with the North Face brand. I've got that right there in this jacket. And um, unfortunately, while it could have been worth quite a few, I did have to leave it behind, even at a $10 price point. Can't be doing that. I'll tell you one way to run out of an op shop, and that's to see an Abercrombie Finch pair of jeans for $95. Yeah, pretty resounding, guys. 82% of you are saying to go ahead and cop this jacket, and it's a really nice one. Cord, um, very, very, very comfy, and I think I'll be keeping that for myself, potentially. Might be one of those scenarios where I whack it up onto the store, and when it sells, I, I stop wearing it. But um, yeah, 15 bucks. I reckon I might be able to turn that in at 50, but just a very sweet jacket, something I would look for myself, personally. Um, Grand Theft Auto, Liberty City, I got that one as well. Goes for about 30 bucks. So a very, very slim op shop run number three. Couldn't find a hell of a lot digging through two different op shops. Um, so we've ended up spending an extra 17 there on top of our 87. So we're up to 104, uh, 96 bucks to spend in the last run. We've got some work to do. We'll see you in there. That's what we like to see. Let's get it. Well, guys, timing is everything. The trucks have rolled in and I have got some money to spend. So we should be in for a good run in this op shop. The first item that I've seen here is actually an Instagram viewer poll question. This is a pair of Reebok hiking shoes and they are quite vintage looking as well. There's some definitely some age to these things, but they're in excellent condition. They're a US size nine and a half and I am liking the look of the condition. So a $15 price point, I'm pretty comfortable to go ahead with the purchase, but let me know your thoughts in the comments if you would do that yourself. Um, the person throwing out those Reeboks also had a second pair and I've had a look at these as well again another $15 price point these are a US size 9 um, the old Reebok hiking shoes they've got a pretty cool look about them also found these ones as well the Samoas the Adidas Samoas again a $15 price point on these guys there were actually two pairs of the Samoas in this store and uh, I had a bit of a look over for quality because that is always one thing I do with my shoes and there was a bit of appeal there on the toe so in the end I did go ahead with one of those Samoas because the comps on eBay for them are pretty damn good. Now there were this uh, this DVD, this Monty Python Flying Circus that I actually never filmed but I picked it up for $10. 
Uh, this is the other one I grabbed as well for 50 cents, Beavis and Butthead. But Monty Python, that was an awesome grab. A $50 DVD hiding in the store for just a $10 price point. Um, wish I filmed it. Also got this one as well, the G-Star Raw. Um, now, I paid $20 for these guys, but the, uh, the comps on eBay are pretty high. I'm, I'm talking $60 to $80 for these things, so I'm always happy to pay $20. And remember, I do need to spend a few dollars to round out this day, so they were going well along with me. I've also found these G-Star Shorts. are just a plain black pair for $15, but they should turn into about $40. So overall, pretty good. A monster 82% of you told me to go ahead and cop the vintage Reebok hiking boots. They are just a really sweet find to round it out, guys. So look, we spent $85 in that last run. And when you add it with the 103 that we had originally spent, we spent $188 today, 12 bucks short of our goal. But I'm going to put that 12 bucks towards next week's trip to the thrift. I'm really stoked with everything that we're able to buy today. I think all of them were really cherry picked to the best quality. And I think they'll all go on to sell really well. If you missed last week's episode of the trip to the thrift, it is right here. And for all my 30% clubbers that are still here watching now, hopefully you've enjoyed this one, guys. Thanks for being here. We'll catch you in the next.